it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a before and after chit chatty get ready with me because I haven't done one in a really long time. I have like hot rollers in my hair. They're not hot rollers, they're actually for this like steam thing. Oh, Caruso steam setter. I saw Raw Beauty Christie wear it or use it like forever ago and so I ordered it. It's the only way I curl my hair now, it's amazing. I haven't done a chit chatty get ready with me in quite a long time. I'm gonna film some videos after this so I thought I would just film this. It's not gonna be super long because a lot of my, I don't do a lot of eyeshadow anymore. I primarily like fill in my brows, do foundation, do like blush like around this area because that's kind of what's in right now. Also just as an FYI I do have my ring light on right now because it is kind of late at night. That's usually when I get most of my filming done if I have been filming or taking photos lately. So I do have my ring light on that's why my skin looks very blurred and very smooth but if you look up close pores are still there and I have this fun friend that I got. And then I dyed my eyebrows because I was like, oh, maybe that'll be cute and I don't like it. So now I'm gonna fill them in with brown and then pretend like this never happened. I'm gonna kind of go for, it's full glam, but it's less full glam than what I used to do, even though it's still kind of intense because the lashes I use are really big. I also bought some rhinestones off of Amazon. I bought some colorful ones too, and I'm not sure where I put them. So I thought it would just be fun to use these. I'm gonna take some, uh, see? take some of these and maybe put them like underneath here that I see people do or like I don't know we'll figure it out but I keep seeing people use rhinestones on their face and I really like them but yeah if you would like to see this chit chat to get ready with me see kind of what my go-to glam for like Instagram photos if I decide to film um also too if you see any like random like weird jump cuts my cat has a cold don't worry she's been to the vet we took her my sister took her she's fine she just is sick so she has like snuffly sounds going on right now. If you would like to see this chit chatty get ready with me and see how I've been doing my makeup and then I will fully reveal how my hair looks all the way at the end and show you how I've been styling it because I like to get it like really curled and let it sit in place. Uh, stay tuned and we'll get into it. So foundation that I've been using, I went back to the L'Oreal. I'm not gonna use any primer because it's late at night and I don't use primer anyway, typically. Poofy, you okay? Okay, sometimes she'll be like, you hear a lot. Uh, a little bit, that's my cat. She's a little mucusy right now. We're going to take just some on a kabuki brush. Sometimes I will use um, a beauty blender. I think that a kabuki brush is just a little bit faster. And this is already a dewy foundation and I have oily skin. I just really like how it looks when it settles into the skin and it's very like full coverage. My skin's been doing better. I started Curology, which I used like two-ish years ago and I stopped using it because I couldn't afford to use it anymore. But now I have like a better, more consistent job, thank goodness. And so it's not so bad to like actually have like a few things that I pay I might put my bangs up. I don't know. It's nice to be able to like afford like occasional monthly subscriptions that could actually like help me. So that's what I've been doing. But yeah, my skin has been doing a lot better. And like I said, it does look a lot better because I have this ring light on. Also, what I really like about this foundation, it maybe doesn't look like it right now, but against my neck and especially during the daytime, uh, it basically like matches my neck like perfectly. I still like pull it down, but normally it matches my neck if I don't feel like putting it all the way down. So that's what I've been doing. But I just like that it's really hard to find like good dewy full coverage foundations. If I am like going outside and like going to hang out with friends, I will mix this with the pro matte because it will not last or I just don't wear makeup a lot of the times in the summer or I will just wear like a little bit of concealer. Cause I used to be that person where I would be like in full beat, like full glam all the time. And it would just, like it would just melt off. Like it wouldn't do anything. Like one year, like the first year at Pride, I wore like a ton of makeup and that was a huge mistake because it was super hot. And then last year, Pride's canceled this year. But then last year I wore like a little bit less and it was still kind of hot like later on in the day, but it was cold earlier on. So it wasn't nearly as bad. How's everyone doing? I thought I would film one of these cause I did just film that one ASOS uh, swimsuit try on haul. So I thought that I would do this. I think I just do a follow up, kind of explain where I've been. So I actually filmed one of these videos. Uh, that was the Pro Glow, like I said, in shade 201, which is the lightest shade, or maybe the second to lightest shade. I think cause it's 201, it's the lightest. I did film one a little while ago and then quarantine happened and I was doing really, really well. Um, this is the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. I started using this cause I've heard nothing but good things. And like I said, now that I have like, um, actual income that isn't like shit garbage it's actually like feasible for me to be able to like try more expensive things and like it's not gonna like fully break the bank like this is kind of expensive i want to say this is in like the 20 dollar range it works so well though like this probably right now is like too much but it just oops it just makes my under eyes look so youthful and young which is crazy to say considering that i am 24 you'd think that i wouldn't have to worry about that but i have really crapey under eyes and people are always like oh like drink water and it'll really help or um 
use eye cream and I'm like yeah I use eye cream that has like retinol in it and it doesn't do shit so I'm probably gonna have to go to a dermatologist this is just a dry sponge um I was at grad school I finished my first semester off and it was great like I've been having a great time where I've been at I've been living in the city because I'm going to school in the city and that's kind of all I'm super comfortable sharing because like I don't mind sharing what I do in my life and like what I have been doing it's just that I don't want to like fully reveal like where I live and everything but I mean honestly I don't even live there anymore because I had to move back home because of quarantine but yeah I was doing really well I like I said I finished off my first semester I got hired at um like a job that I really enjoy I'm getting paid way more than I was at my old job and I'm working better hours and I have free time and like I've never at the all the same time had this much free time had disposable income and been able to like do well in school that has never happened to me all at the same time and that's kind of why I was I literally was like flourishing like I was doing great so yeah like the end of even though 2019 started off like really rough for me it ended really well for me and then 2020 started and shit kind of popped off and went crazy even aside from quarantine so when I got into grad school I had actually like gained probably about like 10 or so pounds and I was like oh like it's whatever like weight gain is whatever it's not like the end of the world like because I'm, I'm sick of treating weight gain like it's like the end of my life that happened and I had filmed a couple hauls and then I just got like too busy it was just one of those things where it was like I could either have free time and like work on my mental health hang out with friends or I could like devote it to hobbies and like other stuff like I had to make a choice and so a lot of my choice was experiencing life like I had never had before like I was making friends I was hanging out with people in college like I'm now having like I was having like the college experience like while I was in grad school which because I really didn't get to have that while I was an undergrad and it's just something that happened and then 2020 started and I was like okay like I think I really want to get back into this like Instagram is doing pretty well I've hit like over 12k followers on there I think I'm at like 12.4 now and I was like you know I want to start back up on YouTube I haven't done it in a really long time I'm going to where I work taking BART uh, Bart, I live really far away. I don't live really far away from Bart, but like where I live to where I'm going is kind of far in the city because I also work in the city. And dead ass, like the day, or maybe it was the second day that I'm going back, I fall and have one of the worst injuries that I've ever had in my entire life. If you've ever been to a Bart station, I don't know if it's very comparable to like New York or anything like that, like with their public transport, transportation, how they have like gates, the gates open up like this. I was at home, like where I am now, but I also had a place in the City that I was going back to so this way I could go back and forth for work because my hours were different during winter break it's just so many like unnecessary details but yeah I was kind of going back and forth through winter break because I wanted to spend some time at home and so I wasn't bringing a lot of stuff with me I was bringing like a backpack and then I would go and I would stay in my place in the city for a couple days and then I would come home hang out with my nieces and my nephew and kind of go back and forth for, like every couple of days and because I knew that once I went back to school I wouldn't be able to do that as much and so then um, one day when I was going back, I was like, oh my god, like the train's here, like I need to go, like I'm gonna be late because it's already gonna take me a while to get there. Straight up, one of the the gates, one side opened and the other side didn't, so when I was walking, one of my legs went through and my other leg got caught on the gate that hadn't opened all the way yet, literally fell hurt myself so badly that like it was like I saw stars and I didn't even hit my head like my pain or my legs were in like blinding pain uh Cody spun powder just to set under the eyes a little and then I'm gonna put it on the rest of this with uh a brush literally yeah some of the worst pain i have like ever been in and i still feel effects from it today trigger warning i'll put in photos like my front of my legs like my uh right leg bruised up so bad that like my leg was like the front of it was like purple like purple like this shirt and it was like that i'm not joking you from the beginning of january until probably like mid february like and i never went to the doctor for it because i don't go to the doctor for anything <laughs> also because my doctor's like there's never any like open times to go see my doctor which sounds like an excuse and it is but i hate going to the doctor and then my right my left leg the one that had actually hit the gate had like an impact mark on it but it wasn't nearly as bad because most of the brunt of the injury was taken on my right leg and so like it hit just like impact if you see any powder it's me talking and apparently put that on my face yeah and so like that happened and yeah no like i said i'll put some photos in because my i took photos of it to like see <laughs> and my legs were fucked and I actually hit so hard that on my right leg, 
is the top like one section of it where it really hit hard I still can't feel it it's basically completely numb it was completely numb at the time and I could still walk and everything like I still went to work that day because you know capitalism I was literally in so much pain like that day like a lot of people saw they were like oh my god are like you okay and I was trying really hard not to cry because I don't like crying in public because it makes me uncomfortable and one guy tried to help me up and I was like I thank you like I'm so sorry but like I can't move my legs hurt so bad right now I can't move <laughs> like for just like a second he's like all right well I gotta go like I have to go to work and I'm like no totally feel it thank you like a lot of people were like grabbing my stuff like it, I ate shit basically is what happened finally like after like a couple minutes I was like all right like I can't just sit here in the right at the front of the entrance of the BART station like I gotta I gotta go so I emailed my bosses I told them I might be a little late because what happened and then I got to work and luckily because I was able to like sit and relax like that kind of helped and I definitely took some Advil and stuff for it to help with the swelling because my legs were basically swollen and then like I said like my legs like they didn't look bad at first but then like the day after my legs got fucked like they looked so bad like I said they were like that for a really long time until finally like they got uh, a little better. But my leg currently right now, like this side is fine. Like I can feel it on my uh, left leg is now fine. My right leg, like I said, it is still like, I am feeling my leg right now and I, I can't feel anything. Like I can feel myself touching it, but there's no sensation of my leg actually hitting it or doing anything. And also if I try to like lean down on my knees or like look for something, I have to do it in like a very specific way or else I like ruin myself for the rest of the day, so. That's great, love that for me. Yeah, all right, so see, good base. That's probably a lot of talking. It took me forever to do this. I don't know how much I'm gonna cut out. What's the matter, Poofy, huh? Poofy's just sitting there. Next, we are going to go in with some blush. This is a ColourPop blush in Glass Slipper. I believe it's one of the ColourPop like princess ones. I just take like a small, this is a crown brush, I think. Oh no, a Luxie brush and it's a tapered highlighter brush. I use it typically for blush. Now what I've been doing, I've been doing like what e-girls do and I apply my blush all across like this, like across my nose, tip of my nose, a little bit on my chin, stuff like that. No, and then like because of that, because of how fucked up I was, like how in pain I was, I literally, aside from going to class and like going to work, I like couldn't do anything else. Like my legs were constantly in pain. And then like the crazy thing is like, finally my legs like got better to the point where they weren't constantly in pain, which is around February. Not even joking you, like a little bit later, I got this like intense, like weird skin thing that happened to, on the exact same leg where I got like really hurt. And so my leg just looked disgusting for a couple days. And I was like, or not a couple days, it was like two weeks because I had to put like this topical cream on it. And I was like, oh my God, like this is the worst thing. So I like wasn't wearing skirts. Like I wasn't doing anything. I was just wearing pants. And so I just felt really bad about myself. And because I had gotten so hurt, I literally like any form of active than I was before that, I couldn't do like any of it. Like I was in so much pain most of most days. Like I was taking Advil, like I was trying to just get through the day so I could like come home, do homework and then like relax and just try to make it through the next day. And so I gained weight from that. And so now instead of being like a size 24, 26, I'm more solidly like a size like 26, 28, kind of leaning more towards a 28. And I didn't think I would be like that affected by it, but like it's really affecting my self-esteem. And I know that that has a lot to do with like fat phobia and like how I'm feeling about it, but I just, I wasn't expecting me to be hit so hard about that. Because like I said, 2019, I think like I said, for me ended off like so well. And then 2020 started and I was like, just so much happened. And so like I gained weight, I got hurt and then like I was fine and things were finally doing a little bit better. And then COVID-19 struck and I was on campus or for a little bit still working and still doing stuff and then all of our classes got switched to uh remote learning and so i did a week of remote learning on campus and then the stay-at-home order got placed got put on the city and so basically i it was one of those things with my parents we were like we don't know what it's going to be like to have to come and pick you up uh during the stay at home and so we i think they're going to come and pick you up now and had i known i probably would have stayed like where i was living in the city because it would have probably been a lot easier for me because it i wouldn't have been so distracted all the time i would have been able to kind of like finish out where I was living and then I ended up having to leave a bunch of my stuff behind and I have to go back and get it now because both of my parents are immunocompromised so it's not like they can just go out willy-nilly like I took a bunch of stuff home but a lot of stuff is still where I was living before it's already um, paid for and the place is going to give me um, a refund because it's an on-campus place and basically like I just had to be like I can't come back for it like I just had to leave and we didn't have time to bring everything home like when I found out about the stay at home the shelter in place thing I literally had like a five hour notice and so I had to pack up as much much as I could, but that still like wasn't enough. So there's still a bunch of stuff on campus. I'm gonna do a little bit more. But yeah, that's kind of what's 
been happening with me. And then we found out for fall that uh, we are doing remote learning again, which I'm really sad about because I fucking hate remote learning. Remote learning has been the worst thing ever. The rest of the semester should, should have just been canceled. Like I've talked to so many people and legitimately like everyone I know is like remote learning is the worst thing we could have done. We all hate it. Like it sucks. We should have just been able to like hang out for seminar and not have to do anything else because none of us want to do anything. Um, This is the Anastasia Glow Sugar Glow Kit. I got this at uh, Christmas time because it was on sale for $20 and I really like it. It's a nice like kind of natural glow. I use like a combo of these ones because this one's like an iridescent pink. I don't know if you can tell. This one is actually like a light pink and then this one is white. They all look the same on my finger. Oh no. They all look the same. And so basically what I've been doing is I do a combo of these three and then I kind of leave that one alone. This is for when I'm a little bit more tan. These ones are for like the rest of the year when I look like this. I know this looks like a lot of blush, but and with my pink eyebrows, but trust me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it out. It'll be fine. Shit, I just dunked that into the champagne color. Oh my God. This is like one of these weird highlighty brushes that I have from Amazon. It just like looks so nice. And then what I like to do is to make it look like I'm glowy like all over. I go kind of in a, that kind of emotion, kind of um like a teardrop swipey motion. And then I do it from here. I get like the majority of it. And then I bring it underneath my eyes. And sometimes I actually will put a little bit of highlight under my eyes and it's this way in photos. Or if I'm filming something, it kind of like reflects back and it looks a lot brighter. This way I don't look so tired. And one way I actually made this ring light not look so harsh is that it comes with like orange and white lights. Um, I put orange lights on top and then white lights on the side and it kind of makes it a little bit it's still really intense and this is like a very low setting for this light but it at least makes it look a little bit better but see you get kind of like this nice like highlighty effect even though it does seem like a lot like trust me i know I put that on our nose but yeah that's kind of what's been happening with me and kind of everything that's happening and then oh a really exciting thing so i actually got accepted into another graduate program so i'm going to be doing two graduate programs at the same time and hopefully by 2022 i will have two master's degrees don't know why i did that but why not because i don't really see myself getting a phd like i always kind of wanted to oh Oofy, okay. Sorry, my cat sneezed, so I just finished up my highlight. Um, yeah, I always kind of saw myself getting a PhD, but I was talking to some people who are in, um, who are professors in some of my programs, and like while they encourage you to like stay in school and to kind of be doing whatever, they also are like, listen, school is really expensive, and so if your research isn't fully funded, they're like, we wouldn't recommend it until you get that, or just don't go. <laughs> and I'm like, sounds good to me. So I'm not gonna do any bronzer. I've been kind of anti bronzer lately because I haven't really been going outside because we can't and so I primarily just do blush I think blush looks really a lot nicer on me than bron bronzer can get kind of muddy and then we're just gonna take some more Cody Airspun and we're just gonna blend this bitch out see and then once you blend it out it doesn't look so bad it doesn't look so intense so blended not blended. I like both. I've worn this much blush as is before. It looks really nice in photos. What I've also done before that I really like to do is you take white um, eyeliner and you make like freckles on your face and it looks like mushroom makeup because you look like a toadstool. And that's like a really fun like e-girl look to do that I've done. Really like it, even though I'm not an e-girl, but you know, it's fun. TikTok really is full of fun makeup looks. But yeah, now I'm going to be starting another program in the fall while simultaneously finishing up my last year in my first program. And so yeah, like I said, hopefully by 2022, if I plan out everything correctly, I will have two masters, which I think is really exciting. It might not help you in the job market because I might be overqualified, but I'll have two of them. And I think that's pretty neat, especially because like I said, I don't know when or even if I'll ever get a PhD because PhDs are expensive. And really, I want to be able to own a house someday. And being in school, unfortunately, at, in this economy, in our current societal structure, if you don't have some type of income and you're not actively working towards your goals to achieve that income, you're not going to get there. As much as I would love to just be like a fun scholar in school forever, it just won't happen as much as I'd love it. All right, so this is like a pretty good base, really like this. I might do my eyebrows eyebrows off screen because I really like need to concentrate. What I do for eyebrows, this is technically an eyeliner pencil, but I really, or pen, I like it though. See Physicians Formula, Eye Booster, 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Serum, Eyeliner and Serum, and Deep Brown. I like to just fill in my brows and then I go over and I blend it with like a spoolie. And I think it just makes my eyebrows look a lot nicer. So that pimple is so intense. Look at it. You can still see it. Yeah, here, I'm gonna shut off the filming and then come back. Okay, so... 
And then usually what I'll do to kind of blend it out, I will just take a spoolie. God, I love putting my brows on because I'm like, oh, it's who I really am. I love having like thick ass brows because my brows do not look like this normally. You do have to be careful though because like see what I just did? I kind of like brushed off too much and now you can see the pink under my brows. I want to get uh, derma blending or derma blading, whatever it is that they, where they tattoo your brows on. I want to get it so bad because I feel like I would look so much better with it because my brows are so shitty in real life. Just from years of waxing. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, so that's why, that's why 2020 has sucked for me so far. Hope yours has been doing way better in spite of all of this. Okay, next we are going to do lashes. I have these big boys. These are from Ilor and I wore these in my last video I just posted. Look at them. I love like lashes that are just too big. I love them. I want to be able to blink and not see. <laughs> oh, I have powder all over myself. Oh, if you're thinking too, hey, that's a really bummy shirt she's wearing. Um, it is. I'm literally like just doing this and then I'm going to put on what I'm actually going to wear for my video later. I just didn't feel like putting on a bra yet today, which I've now said in two videos and it is true. I hate bras. Bras suck. And I might wear something where I don't have to wear a bra in my next video. Honestly, I don't care. Oh no, because I have to try stuff on. Oh, damn it. Damn it. That was something that I've never actually like talked about on here. Especially too, because I mentioned earlier that Pride was canceled and I've been to Pride twice now and I was really excited to go this year. But uh, last year, so I went to Pride once and that was really fun. Really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm picking off all the glue off of this. Yeah, I went last year with my friends and it was equally as fun because it was the first Pride that I had gone to where I was fully out. Um, I am bisexual. I've never really talked about that on here. Look at these. I know that doesn't look good like because of how I have it, but yeah, I am bisexual. I know that I have been attracted to ladies for a really long time. I've probably actually known since I was a wee child. I just was a so debilitated by internalized homophobia <laughs> that I uh, pretended like I wasn't and it really sucked. And I was always kind of out to my friends because we would talk about stuff like that, but I hadn't like really fully accepted it. And then I came out to my mom because we got into an argument about something and I just like told her, which isn't a good idea. Don't do that. I don't really know if actually my dad knows. My sis I came out to my sister and she took it really well and so did all the kids. So that was great. And then I came out on Instagram. Well, I guess if my, my dad does look at my Instagram sometimes, so he might know. We just don't, we have a big don't ask, to, it's like the military in the, <laughs> basically before like whatever, don't ask, don't tell was repealed. That's the policy in my house. No, yeah. And so I uh, finally came out and then last year was my first ever pride that I was out as like a bisexual person. I bought a bisexual flag, put it on the wall. Um, I have discovered that I am uh, more attracted to women than I thought. Oh, hi Poofy, how are you doing? Oh, hi, what's the matter? You gonna get some water? Are you gonna get some water? Oh, hi. I was right down there. Um, yeah, no, so I am um, more attracted to women than I thought I was. I don't think I'm a lesbian. Um, I pretty much am sure that I'm bisexual because I am still attracted to men begrudgingly. But I'm also attracted to like non-binary people and stuff. I know there's a lot of overlap with like pansexual pansexuality and bisexual. <laughs> Ooh, right, her's getting up, her's gonna get some water. But I know there's a lot of overlap with uh, bisexuality and pansexuality, and that's kind of because the definitions have changed as we've gone on through the years. So what I learned from Jackie Ina is, this is just like Ilora lash glue. Put on a layer of lash glue, let it dry, and then put on a second layer, and that's the second layer when it gets tacky, that's what you put on your eye. Genius works every time. Sometimes the corners will still pop up, but I think that's just my eye, my eyes and my eye shape and the shit glue that I use. Stop ripping up my carpet. Smart move, love Jackie Ina, she's great. She comes up with the best ideas, and that actually work. So we're gonna set those off and let those dry for a sec. Let's do some inner corner highlight and some under brow highlight while we wait for that to dry. Yeah, no, so last year, like I said, it was the first year that I was out and I was really excited to go again this year because I thought I just really enjoy Pride. I, it's chaotic, but I really like the energy. It's like a music festival, but where we all get to go and scream fuck Trump, it's great. Love it, 10 out of 10. And even then, like there's drinks, like there is old queens there, there's queer people that have been there since, like that are as old as, like they're old enough to have been alive when Stonewall was happening and like during the AIDS crisis. And like, it's very uh, reductive to just say a music festival. That was stupid of me to say, because there are a lot of straight people there that are just there for like the vibe rather than that they're actually homophobic. Poofy, what are you doing? Stop snooping. Which that's the thing is Pride definitely hasn't, it, it is still like a celebration, but I think the, there has been a lot of, in the last couple years, been like pride has sold out for corporations because corporations were never a part of pride because largely corporations are very homophobic and now the pride is of their corporations are a part of pride like it's just it's a lot of controversy and i don't i don't know what's correct i, I do get the whole corporation thing because i am very like anti-capitalist lately because even though i buy a lot of stuff it's a mess <laughs> but yeah and so i'm just i'm just bummed a lot of things got canceled this year i know it's stupid because like people are literally dying and so like me not being able to go to pride isn't 
isn't the end of the world. Like pride's not just gonna, well, we might just stop one day, who knows? I can always go next year. I'm sure like it'll be okay. I'm just bummed. It was something I was really excited about because like I said, like telling you guys now coming out to you guys now is that it's, it's one of the few places where even though it is chaotic, it's one of the few places where I legitimately feel like I can be myself as me, like without any restraints or any, any restrictions. And I think that that's what's so, I love pride is that for so many people, it is that for them where it's that one time of year where they can go somewhere and even if they're not like out or maybe they're not sure they can go and at least feel somewhat like they belong at least I hope that they do and that's not the case for everyone because a lot of gay people are very racist and homophobic themselves even though they say they aren't okay we're gonna pop on these lashes even though I like just put the glue on but yeah it's it, I'm just bummed I'm sad about it I also love to what I love about these though is that the lash band is really thin and so it they even though like maybe the glue isn't all the way dry it pops on <laughs> look at me and I like to have them kind of pointing upwards because it makes my eyes look more open yeah and then I let the glue I pop on there let the glue like fully dry and that's when I pop on mascara just to make it a little more blended but you know that's just how it is I'd rather not be able to go than than get COVID-19 <laughs> ta-da it's like who is she I look like a different person love it though oh so nice that the glue will get stuck like right there I'll just use this Wander Beauty lash i got this like forever ago i'm pretty sure i got this in a this might be old but whatevs i like that it separates i will always just put a little bit under on my lower lash line i just touch my face i just touch my face with that god mm. once i put a lip on and maybe glue some rhinestones to my face we'll be done this is a very quick get ready with me these lashes are straight up just sitting on my lashes like on my lash not even on my lid but yeah also too if you're thinking wow her skin looks good again because obviously she has foundation on trust me it's the lighting right now like you can still see the texture on my face and that's just kind of the name of the game when you wear a powder when i am just doing my everyday to day life stuff i usually will wear cream and a very light amount of powder or i will use yeah like a liquidy foundation like this with a very light amount of powder and then i spray the shit out of my face with setting spray sometimes fucking water yeah i also just had some really like exciting shit just happen to me uh the brand dia and co they're like they were a uh style box like subscription at least that's what I always knew them to be. Um, they now, I guess, actually, you can just buy the clothes, like, directly from their website. They sell a lot of, or more, like, expensive plus size stuff. They actually emailed me and invited me to be one of their brand ambassadors. So, um, I have some photos that are going up. I already had one, which I will include here, but I am going to be doing a haul of the stuff that they sent me. This, like, just happened. It was so exciting, and their stuff came so quickly. But, um, I have a bunch of hauls. I have a haul from them. I have a bunch of hauls I'm going to be doing beforehand that, of stuff that I paid for because the stuff they sent me was free yeah but i will be doing a haul on all the stuff i got from them and how nice it all is like bitch it's so nice i used to be one of those people where i was like i do believe in in some cases quantity over quality in a lot of things but because i do think that you can get quality things for quantity prices but especially now lately i've been trying to invest more in nice things which i'm pretty sure y'all used to tell me like all the time i used to say that stuff because like i didn't have any money to spend and when i did have money to spend i would just spend it in very specific ways so i could maximize what i got whereas like now it's like now that i actually have like somewhat of an income and like i'm able to like pay for school and like use money and stuff like it it's i can pay for things whereas before i could never not bad right we're almost done i've been using this a lot lately it's the color pot velvet color pop velvet luxe liquid lipstick and take a bow this might have been maybe for their chinese new year collab or maybe a collab with someone i don't remember but i really like it because it's like a pinky red i used to never be into red lipstick but now with my hair it kind of goes and so what i've been doing lately is that i learned this uh from snitchery on youtube and instagram and twitter because i follow her there too but if you want to make your lips look slightly bigger uh don't extend them all the way out you're basically gonna like shorten your lip line where like so see my lip actually goes to here and i kind of shortened it to there and it's not gonna be perfect because right there it's fucked up but i should have just been using a fucking mirror but see like it looks just a little bit shorter and then you do the same thing with the top and so your lips just look they almost kind of have like a betty boo i have some people go in more and because her lips are naturally a little bit more big um she can kind of do like a really short look i think if i do it too short i look it's almost like too betty boop like this i think works a little bit better for me and i like it because it's not really it's not overlining because this is, is the shape of my lip it's actually shortening them and it just makes them look bigger i also really like this doe foot it's really nice it's like really thin 
Good for if you have little lips. And then I actually will make the cupid's bow a little different. So pretty, right? I love I love this color. Cause it also too, if you only want if you want to make your lips look really like pink and very like that kind of blotted, kind of washed out look, you can take a little bit of this and tap it on your lips and then kind of just rub it in with your fingers. Looks so good. I also have a more pink one than this one. You probably can't tell too much, but you see how your lips kind of they look more like full and like inwards. And so yeah, this is like the natural, it is technically the natural shape of my lip, but more in. And so yeah, it just makes it look more. And then if you want to kind of hide that you could just put a little bit of concealer on there i find you can't really tell with my lips um next we're gonna try out these rhinestones i think i'm gonna put a rhinestone like right there because i've never done that before and that sounds really fun we're just gonna do it with eyelash glue because um i'm not trying to ruin my um whole night and fuck up my eyes i don't understand why these things are so hard to fucking open this is from just from amazon which also amazon's a piece of shit but it's one way to get convenient shit around here my curls hopefully actually look good after this they've been sitting in here like this whole time and i've been filming for kind of a while Oh, here we go. Okay, so we are going to take this one lash. I wish I had my tweezers. We're just gonna put it on this brush. Oh, I already fucked up. I got it on my finger. God, mm, God damn it. Okay. Well, there it is on my thumb. Cool, 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 cool. I really didn't think this through because I thought I could just like place it there, but I realized now that I'm trying to put it underneath my finger, put it underneath my eye with like just my finger is really stupid. Okay, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna fucking try that. And then I'm going to let that get tacky. Yeah, this is a mistake. I should have just uh, not done this. Oh, got it. Oh, yes. Got it. Can you even tell? Oh, you can tell. That's cute. I like that. Oh, I can see it. Oh my God, I can like see it. Ah, perfect. But it's cute. Ooh, I like. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this from now on. I love it when people put like those big ass chunky rhinestones underneath their eyes and they look so cute. Let's grab on another one. It just reminds me too of when Jenna Marbles put all those rhinestones on her face. 10 out of 10, quality content. Gonna pop a little in the center like we did just now. Is they're gonna go? I feel like you can't even tell, but like if you look really close, you're like, oh, there it is. Okay, we're just gonna pop that bitch on. Oh, got it. Hell yeah. I should have never even tried just putting it on there. I should have slapped it on there like I just did. Cute though, I like that. Yeah, you can't even really tell unless you go like this. But it's cute, right? It's like fun. Okay, I'm gonna put a bra on, I'm gonna put a different shirt on, and then we'll take out my hair. Be right back. I realized that I cut it off, but yeah, it was really exciting. I got asked to be a brand ambassador. I never really thought that anything would, I got this also from DN Co along with the shirt. I never really thought that anything would come from this. I have figured that people would just maybe follow me for a little bit and then stop completely, especially considering the fact that I've been so inconsistent. But yeah, I'm now a brand ambassador for them. But yeah, and that's, I think that's just, it's so cool. Cause I'm like, oh, like, that's amazing. Like, I just, I never thought that, like, I think about me as a young fat girl and just being like, I'll never see bodies that look like me doing anything. And I'm not totally a part of it, but I'm somewhat am. And I just, I never thought that I would be. I never thought I would be there. And I am. And it's all thanks to you guys. It's all thanks to Instagram. Even though I don't post on Twitter, a lot of my Twitter followers are not... They're kind of sketchy though, so I don't know about that. But yeah, it's it's just, it's exciting. It's something that I'm really, I'm excited about. Like when I found out, I was like, oh my God, like a brand. They asked me, oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm gonna do a haul with them. All right, let's take these bitches out. Let's see. So we're gonna start, we'll start in the back first, even though I know you can't see it. I know it doesn't look as good. I did hairspray them beforehand. So what I do is I take them all out. You really only have to let these sit for like 15 minutes or so, but see they're little like foam things and you put little, plastic things. I really like them because I'm really bad at curling my hair. And when I use a curling iron, I swear my hair or like I always burn myself, whether it be my face or my hands, like something always happens. That's a little front one. We're now doing, I'm doing it now today where I have my curls. One thing about this is sometimes they do get a little, there we go. Sometimes they do get a little stuck. And I just like it because it adds a lot more volume because if you have like really fine hair, it's really hard to get like a decent amount of volume without like full on tasing or tasing. God, without teasing your hair. Ooh, cute. See, like it gives you these really like bouncy, soft looking curls. Whereas whenever I use the clamp ones where I like wrap them around, it makes my hair look so fried and damaged. Like I straightened my bangs right here and I feel like they look really fried and damaged. Oh, by the way, I have pink hair, duh. But see, you get these cool kind of like bouncy wave curls going on. It comes with like bigger sets of curls and I think I'll start using those for more summertime beachy waves. But I really like using these because my hair is like, it doesn't really hold a curl that well. So I'll do tighter curls and then I brush them out and they kind of fall out to look more natural during the day. And then I started doing curls on top, like I said, for volume. I do like one of these like center. And I also just trimmed my hair. But all of them, oh no, there's more, I forgot there's more. But yeah, cause I have a hard time getting volume like on the top and in the back. 
So I've been really trying to focus my efforts on that. And then yeah, like what I'll do is once this is all done, yeah, it has these little holes on the bottom and you stick them on the steamer and then they get all toasty. Separate that, oh no. I already, like I said, I hairsprayed this before. Oh, that might've been, yeah. See, I think this is what happens to me is that I use too um, small of curls sometimes and then I let them sit for too long. But I do still like it though. I think it's fun having curly hair like this. But usually what I'll do is I will like brush it out a little bit. And then like once it kind of chills out, yeah, I think my bangs are too straight in the front. I think you're gonna put them back with a with that bobby pin. I kind of went too ham. I feel like my friend Yvette because she has really curly hair like this. We're gonna do, oh, here we do. We'll do like some like wispier bangs. Fuck, I need to trim these. I'm gonna trim my bangs a little. An on-camera chop, if you will. Yeah, this will kind of fall out into more like looser waves, kind of like how it was in my last video. And I haven't worn my bangs like this in a while because I hadn't like trimmed them. And I trimmed them and I'm like, oh yeah, I really like them. They're so cute. But yeah, this is the finished look. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this chit chat, chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I probably won't post this to Instagram because it was pretty long. Um, I will definitely be posting this to YouTube and I will be posting the hauls that I do to Instagram and YouTube. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, comment and subscribe. It'd be great to have you here. Again, my name's Renee. Thanks for watching. Bye.